How's it going, everybody? I'm here at the Trials of the Nine, um, in case you didn't have a team or you weren't uh, playing Trials this weekend. Because I know the raid came out and a lot of people are trying to get that. We still need to finish ours. We're still stuck on the final boss. We just haven't had a six yet. Um, but I figured I'd show you guys some of this. Um, I've already gotten my loot for this. I got the arm pieces. And I put on a shader for them. So if this were to not have a shader, this is what it originally would have looked like. Which is pretty nice. Um, personally, since I was going black and gold, I decided to go with that. They possess cosmic power. And for my loadout for this, I was using these just because I find it a little easier to turn a corner. And it seems like you can turn a corner a bit faster with those. I could be completely wrong on that and it could just be, you know, my brain thinking. And then the Nameless Midnight, because it seems to shut down a lot of Midas, because if you can hit one of them and they're both standing next to each other at a team shot, you're technically hitting both of them, so you can stagger both of them at the same time, allowing my teammate to get some extra shots in, which is pretty nice. I got the Prosecutor, and that really helped out. If you don't have the Prosecutor, because you just didn't, you know, get lucky with it, um, Uriel's Gift is also another really good one. For close quarters, you could also use Last Hope, which is also very good. Um, I think the only other one that we were really looking at was the Undergall PR4, which is a pretty good pulse rifle. And that's a bit close quarters, but um, otherwise you could use a Nightshade. Nightshade worked pretty well. And then I was using a sword just so I could peek corners. And actually it came in very handy. The aggressive sword, the heavy attack, will follow people into the air and seems to still catch them even when they're in the air. So... <laughs> I mean, it was it was really useful. Either that or, you know, we plant the bomb, last man standing, two of them come running to try defusing. I was able to use Sentinel to suppress them, and then I just sit around a corner, and if you hear the last stage of the bomb start going where you know you're probably going to win, you can just put up the shield with your sword and back out of there. Get out. Other than that, I also got the Sudden Death shotgun. I also got a sniper, but I think that's on my other character. Um... The sniper's decent, it's just a, you know, a normal sniper, it's, for PvP purposes, it was okay, um, I still kind of prefer using either a sword, grenade launcher, rocket, shotguns, snipers seem to be outweighed quite a bit in this game. Now, the sudden death, I got to use this a little bit when I was playing, um, it's okay, it's not anything tremendous, um, it's very slow fire rate which is the part that gets me because if you turn a corner and you see two of them and you pump the first one you're gonna have to wait for it kind of like chick chick and then you can fire again which and that amount of time if he has you know the last hope like i was talking about or a uh, uriel's gift you're you're basically screwed so it's it's kind of a death sentence at some t points um but that was my loadout for when we went through um I think we had, I think we had three Midas on our team as well. So we had a team team shotting on right side, and me and another person on left side team shotting to get it done. And when we were on the offensive, we were all running temple. We'd have one, uh, two, the one set team, which was my brother and his friend, watching the left side, those tunnels where people can come through, and telling us if anyone was coming. And then we also would have um, the other two push the purple balls on the right-hand side of Temple. So we'd all sit over there. The other two would wait for a flank. And we would go for the purple ball. And I would use the sword behind it to really tell him where they are. So that way he could turn a corner and I could turn a corner at the same time. And get the team shot and get it, get them down. And if they're not being flanked, then they can po poke out and assist us. That's basically all we did, guys. Um... I hope you enjoyed this. I'll throw on uh, us running down there, but be quite honest, we were all pretty pretty excited. Um, it was the first time for some of them going flawless. Um, it was the first time in Destiny 2 for me to go flawless, so we were all pretty pumped up about it. So I'll, I will spare your ears for some of that. But I'll go ahead and include some of that. I'll just try and pick out the pieces that aren't, you know, scream fest. 
Other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. If you want to try running trials with us or, you know, you're super good and think you could do better than uh, some of the other people, or if you're, you know, obviously better than me, I'm trying to take a couple other people flawless, but I'm not exactly the greatest. Other than that, guys, if you want to join the clan, here it is right here. We have a total of 15 members. We're almost level 2 on this on this day currently see we still haven't completed raid but if you want to join we're very casual um, my girlfriend's playing and she's not even close to a high level so she's not gonna be able to do raids or anything like that she doesn't have most of the time in the day to get to focus her skills on this game so other than that guys see you in the next one if you want to join the clan just to help with boosters or if you need help with nightfall um we can show you how to do the raid if it comes down to that other than that guys i will see you when i see you don't forget to join the clan if you are interested see that though, dude? oh my god you just take it